Hi, I'm Bill Warren. In this clip, we're going to be talking about crawl space mold. Ongoing mold testing is telling us that crawl spaces can have very high levels of airborne molds that you can breathe. These high levels occur within minutes after you enter a crawl space and stir up the dust. So our first safety point is, is if you're going into a crawl spaces on a regular basis, you should wear one of these, a good respirator. A damp crawl space creates an ideal environment to grow mold. Crawl mold can grow everywhere, but it's most noticed when it blooms on the wood framing. The amount of mold ranges from light staining to heavy deposits. Most are varieties of surface mold that do not rot wood. When measured with a pin meter, dry lumber can range from 10 to 14 percent wood moisture content. When it reaches 19% or more, wood is now wet enough to grow surface molds. So how does wood get this wet? The most likely source is damp crawl space air. Wood absorbs water vapor out of the crawl space air, and it wicks in water that condenses on cool surfaces. Consequently, you often see mold at the bottom of floor joists beneath the bad insulation. So what can you do about crawl space mold? First, you have to reduce the excess moisture. If you don't dry out the crawl space, you can't control mold. Second, you want to stop moldy crawl space air from getting up into the house. And this can best be done by sealing any ductwork that's in the crawl space and sealing any holes that are in the floor. Lastly, some people may still want to remove the mold. This can be a very expensive job. So don't go spend a lot of money removing mold until you've controlled the moisture in the crawl space. www.crawlspaces.org has a wealth of information to help you deal with crawlspace mold.